Hey guys, Michael here from Apps Every Day, and welcome back to another Top 5 Fridays. And today we're talking about the top 5 apps that I think everyone needs in a very uh, utility sense. And yeah, I think these will be 5 apps that uh, are good for pretty much anyone to have downloaded to their phone. So let's jump right into it with what I think is the best weather app of all time, Dark Sky. So I like Dark Sky because it's one of the most accurate weather apps I've ever used, as well as it's just clean and simple, but gives you a lot of information if you want it. So when you first open it, it shows your location at the top, it shows the actual temperature, and then the feels like, which I always really like, since there's nothing worse than it saying like, oh, it's 40 degrees technically, but then the wind chill makes it like 20, and so you don't dress properly. I can tap on that and get a much more detailed view into what the weather is actually doing, again, with that wind, humidity, um, any sort of information I need. Now I can see the map down here, which I can tap on, and it'll take me to the next section, which is the actual map data. And I can see both precipitation levels as well as the temperature. And then I can actually zoom all the way out to get a globe um, look at the view here and the temperature one does take a couple seconds to load depending on how fast your uh, phone and connection is. I can go back to precipitation see what that's looking like around the world. Going back to the forecast tab as we scroll down we can see what today is looking like broken down by the hour and of course on the left hand side we see the blue and the darker it is the more of it you're going to get. But again, I can tap on any of these temperatures to the right, and it's going to tell me the more detailed view of what that hour is going to look like. I can also change it from the actual temperature to the feels like, precipitation probabilities, and so on to all the different detailed uh, viewpoints. And then you can get a sense of what the rest of the week is looking like. Again, you can tap on any of them if you want to. And again, it kind of just follows that same idea that if you want just a simple view, you get that. But if you want more information, you can just tap for more. We already took a look at the map view. Under notifications, you basically can just set up uh, to be notified based on, um, you know, if there's a high chance of rain. You can turn on the umbrella reminder reminding you to, you know, bring an umbrella with you. And then under report, you can actually, uh, in your location, quickly and easily record what sort of weather it is just helping the app have that much better accurate data. So next up uh, we're jumping into a little bit of finance stuff is the Google Pay app. Now I'm sure we've all used uh, Venmo and PayPal and uh, Cash App and those are all great but they all take a small percentage usually one to three percent of your transaction fee. Google Pay actually takes nothing you can only use debit cards as credit cards uh, would cost more on Google's end and would end up having to charge you something. But you set up with a bank account or a debit card and you can have instant payment transfers for completely free. It's incredibly simple and works just like all the other ones. I'm not going to go super in depth to this app since a lot of the pages have, you know, very personal information. But if I were to hit that send a request, you basically just put in the phone number or email address of the person you want to request or send money to, the amount, what card you want to use, and then send it. Now we're jumping down to my utilities folder here, which is Parachute. Now this app I've talked about before, this was one of the first apps I ever reviewed, and it's still one of my favorite ones that I hope no one ever has to actually use. Now it's obviously just one big button. And basically the purpose of this app is if you're in any sort of trouble, if I press and hold this parachute button for about a second, uh, then it's going to notify a pre-list of people that I've already set up, aka my wife, uh, parents, and I think, um, and it's going to start a uh, immediately transmitting video from all my cameras. It's going to start recording audio. It's going to send my GPS exact coordinates and locations. And then if I go under settings here, you can see all of this information. I have to blur the screen uh, because of this is personal information right now, but basically it shows all the people you want to add as emergency contacts and the methods, uh, phone numbers of their contacting. You make sure all your permissions are turned on, and obviously this is an app where you want everything to have permissions. And then you have add-ons down here, and 
nowadays they've moved to a premium model but if you were like me and you were on the first to download it then you get instant access to all this stuff now the add-ons here are pretty cool you can activate using siri phone alerts front camera and then a lot of these coming soon ones are awesome and i'm sure one of the most requested features is emergency services so not only do your emergency contacts get contacted but it actually calls 911 for you to send to your location and again all it takes is pressing that big button you also can add it as a widget on your home screen so for example if i leave the app um, and then swipe to my right here what i can do is hit edit and then I can find it on my widget list here. It's a parachute right there. Just add it to the top. I can put it on the top here. Hit done. And so now I have that big button uh, right there that I also can press. Next up we have Google Translate. Of course there's a ton of translating apps out there. It's free to use and they have a lot of different ways that you can actually translate. Now, what I really like is the fact that it's detect language. So that way you don't have to know what language you are translating from in order to get it. Now, one of the ways, of course, is you can type it. So I can type, and then it's telling me that it's detecting Spanish and it's, and it's translating it to English. Now, you can also turn your camera on. This is really cool if you're traveling and if you see a sign in another language. You can see how my keyboard's freaking out. And of course it's going to get this wrong because this is a editing keyboard so it's not your typical uh, keys but again if this were a sign i would hold it up and it would try to scan that text and then essentially translate it into your preferred language you also can pause it you can do a thing called scan where you take a picture and that way it stabilizes it and it will put a box around um, things that it thinks is words and then you basically just color the part that you actually want and it'll translate it at the top. Obviously this is a brand name so it's nothing to translate. You can also go with handwriting so that way if you can't spell it out but there's a, maybe it's like Mandarin, uh, something more character based then you can just draw it out there. And then all the way to the right you have voice, pretty typical you just speak into the microphone, it translates it. And then probably my favorite one is right next to that called the conversation. This one will only be turned on if you know the two languages which you're translating to, not the detect language. So if I'm going from say English to Hebrew and hit conversation and then it defaults to English and it's automatically starts listening to the microphone and you can see that it's doing an okay job. Apparently it thinks that I said banana first and you can see it automatically translating to Hebrew at the bottom. And then as soon as you pause, it basically stops typing. Now I could hit microphone again, or I could hit the Hebrew on the right hand side. And now it's basically looking for Hebrew, but obviously it's not finding it. So it got pretty confused and was like, you're just speaking English dummy. And so that's basically a Google Translate app. Again, always a good thing to have. Next up we have Spark. I think everyone should have a really good email client. And this one is my personal favorite and it's totally free on uh, the app store here. I like it because it organizes everything from personal emails directly from people, you got newsletters, you have pins, which is important emails that you want to save. So I could go on this and then the pin at the bottom and now it goes right into my pins and then scene. I like it because it has some beta features that are really cool, like red receipts at the bottom. So I can see when people open my emails. And then of course you can have as many email accounts as you want attached to it. It has a Mac app that's really good. It's just a very simple, clean, and fast email client. And finally we have Retail Me Not, which actually just got a pretty significant update with a little bit overall uh, design overhaul. Now Retail Me Not is basically where you have a ton of coupons. Now of course this is one of those where everyone puts in coupons and some of them work, some of them don't based on, you know, maybe it's a coupon for a store that's not in your area and it's only a region based coupon or something. Well I use this all the time for pizza, so if you're a fan of that I know a lot of these work. Um, so basically all you do is you can search for a brand or a place that you really like, you see all the coupons that are available, you tap on one. And then you could say get code and then it's going to give you the code. You paste it at checkout and you hope it works. 
a lot of times you can even go directly to the website uh, in which to order from or you can simply go back and just tap it copy it and then paste it in the checkout on the other app or you know wherever you're ordering from so that's the gist of retail me not and those are top five favorite apps that i think pretty much everyone should have on their phones let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and i'll see you guys on monday for another apps every day